Mount Vesuvius is a symbol of Italy and especially of the city of Naples. The volcano is also known as the Mountain of Misfortune. There is a good reason for this. A city built on its slopes experienced a similar catastrophe to that which hit the city of Sodom. The name of the city, destroyed on account of its rebellion against God and its perversions, was Pompeii. These pictures portray what was once the busiest street in Pompeii. The city was a holiday destination of the high society of the Roman Empire and a symbol of wealth. The architecture of the houses was breathtaking. The people of Pompeii were very wealthy. Yet, instead of giving thanks to God for that wealth, they turned into a nation of deviants and gave themselves over to debauchery and the city became a den of iniquity. Pompeii was best known for two things. One was the gladiatorial combats organized in the huge arena solely for the amusement of the rich. That savage spectacle had only one rule to fight to the death. The second largest arena in the empire after the Colosseum in Rome was that of Pompeii. In the early years of Christianity, that arena witnessed the deaths of countless numbers of people solely because of their belief in God. This unbelievable savagery came to be the greatest form of entertainment for the people of Pompeii, whose consciences had withered and died. The second main feature of Pompeii was that it was the scene of the most ruthless implementation of the system of slavery, which prevailed throughout the Roman Empire. For a slave to disobey an order, there could be only one end. They were treated as worthless objects, bought for money. Yet the real oppression of the slaves by the nobles of Pompeii was something different. They were forced into prostitution. The perverted homosexual relations between themselves among the nobles ended in the rape of slaves no older than children. In short, their wealth had made the people of Pompeii degenerate and led them into a morass of perversion and deviancy. They had no idea what was about to happen. The disaster was so terrible that this huge marble bathtub from one of the baths smashed into the opposite wall with unbelievable force, leaving a huge deep scar. In an instant, the lava from Vesuvius wiped Pompeii off the face of the earth. That disaster remained concealed under the ground for the next 2,000 years. In the first quarter of the 20th century, archaeologists began to unearth the remains from under tons of volcanic rock. What they encountered was a piece of history 2,000 years old, 
totally unspoiled. The disaster had struck the people of Pompeii so suddenly that everything stayed just as it had been 2,000 years ago, as if time had stood still. Despite the terrible eruption of Vesuvius, nobody fled, but just turned into stone where they stood. The faces, and even the teeth of some of these bodies remained completely intact. The thing they almost all had in common was their expression of surprise and terror. A family eating together were petrified at that exact moment. Even the food on the table has been preserved. The most extraordinary side of the tragedy is this. How was it that thousands of people waited for death to come and claim them, seeing and hearing nothing? That dimension of the catastrophe shows that the destruction of Pompeii closely resembles the incidents of destruction recounted in the Quran. When such incidents are described in the Quran, it is revealed how people were always struck down in an instant where they stood. It was but one great blast and they were extinct. We sent the single blast against them and they were just like a Thatcher's reeds.